look at my creation. I just finished this. I'm so happy with it. I think the wings are a little bit crooked, and I used the cheap foam, you know, from the from the Dollar Tree, which is actually the right stuff. It's lighter, and uh, and uh, maybe not quite as durable, but it's definitely lighter and much easier to work with than the fancy stuff, the Elmer's glue stuff. So that's how that is set up right there. The control surfaces. Um, Definitely rigging it was definitely a little tricky uh, like in here you can see the bottom servo controls the elevator and I kind of underestimated how bendy this wire would be so I ended up having to put in um, one of the uh, Like the little coffee straw things surrounded with the, by the foam put that in there to hold it in place and then also there to hold that in place as well. The fuselage here is very tall. It's about seven, six inches tall, I think, at the at the top or uh, deep body. So to so bring the center of gravity down, gravity down, hopefully. But I got a little door here, and that's to access um, the uh, tra uh, the receiver, and then the antenna just comes out right there. Slender body, um, and also it was a great movie. So we're gonna check the controls. Left goes left, right goes right, up goes. Right. Good The handling probably could have been a little bit better. And also notice how I built this here, um, so that it's it's above the level of the prop. And I reinforced this to act like a big bumper, because I figured that was going to happen. I'm going to turn the rudder to the full position, because I think to overcome this big, narrow body, I'm going to need the... kind of hard to control. Um. Dun, 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 dun. It's update time. Uh, I changed a couple things on the wing here. I added um, these. They look like ailerons or, or flaps or something, but they're really just, I guess you could call them flaps. But I glued them on. Uh, I figured I could take them off later if I didn't like it. It's just to give it a little bit more surface area on the wing. So there just wasn't enough surface area for the weight of the airplane. So, we're gonna test this out. We got the, the ex extended surface here. Got my throws at the, I think this is about 40, 40 to 50% or something. Not very much, because I, I realize it, it's this thing is so huge that it's very easy to get into a lot of trouble and then pitch up into a stall. And then this thing with the, with how power, this isn't very powerful, so it's hard to get out of a stall and you have to come back down, anyway. So, uh, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad. These are actually like multi rotor props, and they sell them in pairs, so I had like eight of the kind that I could use, and then eight to swap it out. Anyway, so I, I twisted, I turned the motor mount around, so it's, I twisted it around, so that way it's got the little point, it's pointing slightly off to this, to the left side. 
Um, anyway, so we're going to see how it flies. It still flies. It's kind of weird. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. In the bush. We're down. Ah! All right, I think the, it's, you know, it's probably really just the uh, wind. We're getting some weird wind, so that's probably what it is. But it does seem to fly okay. And see if I can get this thing to uh, do some touch and goes like I was earlier. Try and get it close to the camera. <laughs> wow, that was a narrow, narrowly, narrowly missed the camera. That was not good. Here we have the Thin Man, because it looks like the Thin Man, well, it's, it's really thin body. And it's got a little like mustache on the front, like the Thin Man character. Anyway, okay, so we have here the Thin Man, and what we're gonna do today is, this thing is pretty much on its way out. Um, it's pretty beat up, and, uh, and especially right here, the paper's coming apart and stuff like that. And it, it's starting to really like warp a lot. That is one downside of using foam board in the uh, kind of more humid regions um, because it really, let me see, you can see it better from there. You can see it's warping, it's not very straight. So anyway, this thing is on its way out, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna fly it around, see how it flies, make sure it flies normally. And then you see these, uh, these lines that I've drawn on here. I'm gonna cut these sections out on both sides, not, it's not identical, but it's close enough. And so what I wanna do is just see how much weight that can kind of, see how much I can reduce the weight and actually I'll probably cut more off and just to see how, uh, how, how much I can take off and, uh, and see how that affects how it's flying. Cause right now it's just too heavy and the heavier it is, the faster it needs to go is what I'm finding. And um, I don't want fast, I want very slow. So let's fly it around and we'll see how it works.